Hey, what's up everybody? This is Scott Record. I'm coming at you with another video review. And today I'll be reviewing the WWE Retro Series 2 Triple H. Now, to be honest with you, this is a figure I probably never expected to even add to my collection. I wasn't too fond of this figure when I first saw the prototype of it at Comic-Con about, um, about a year ago. But now that I've found this figure in, um, in at retail, and now that I have this figure in person, I have to admit, this figure isn't as bad as I expected. I do have uh, one or two issues with it, but I'll get to that in a little bit. But as always, let's take a look at this gorgeous card back. I never get tired of looking at these. Always the pedigree thing, which I don't know why they put the pedigree thing, but that's how the original Hasbro figures were back in the 90s. They don't, like, they always say, oh, you can perform that specific move, even though you can't. Anyways, we got a picture there. As you see, the card back's a little damaged, but that's just how it came. There. Back here, shows you how to do the action. And again, got this at TJ Maxx, which again, I don't know where that $8 price tag came from because at Target, these are $12, so I don't know where the heck that $8 thing came from. I don't know. Other figures in the series, we've got Kane, The Rock, Mankind, Sting, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and of course, Triple H. I already have The Rock, Mankind, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. I already reviewed Mankind. Uh, check that out if you haven't seen it. Uh, let, me know, let me know in the comment section below if you want me to review The Rock and Stone Cold. Still looking for Sting and Kane. Hopefully I can find those figures at some point. I really want those figures. Especially that Kane figure. That Kane figure is gorgeous. Looks fantastic. Hopefully I can find it at some point. Anyways. Here's the figure. Now since this is from Series 2, obviously there's no Mayhem advertisement on there. And he did not come with a display stand. The only reason why I have him on a display stand here is because I guess this figure came warped in packaging because this figure does not stand up that well. If I can get it. As you see, as you see, he's like just rocking back and forth. Like this figure barely stands up. It's weird. Anyways, likeness is okay. This was the dead turnoff, you know, for me when I first saw this. I was like, oh, that head scan sucks. It's, it's not that good. Anyways, in person, it's not too bad, I guess. I don't know. It's the same mold, um, I guess, as the Seth Rollins and Goldberg figure. It has the same feature, the jumping feature. Which, again, if you saw my Goldberg review, I like the way that Mattel's doing, uh, doing it this way. Instead of with the original Hasbro figures, where the head would stay here and the torso would move down. But the head would stay up here, which is dumb. <laughs> If you saw my Goldberg review where I where I compared it to the uh, um, Brutus the Barber Beefcake figure, then you know what I'm talking about. And was the attire is pretty cool. I think this is from SummerSlam 1997. I think 97, 98. It's from that infamous ladder match um, when he faced off against The Rock for the Intercontinental Championship. But for all you figure collectors, you might recognize this attire from this figure. This is the SummerSlam Heritage series uh, basic figure that came out a few years back. Now, as you see, there's one inaccuracy right there. The retro figure does not have the symbols on the knee pads. Now, at first I thought they didn't put these little X's right here on the retro figure, but if you actually take a look, they did put the X on there. I just couldn't see it at first. As you see, it's very, very small. I don't know if you can see it. So, great attention to detail from Mattel. Not too bad. Anyways, overall, this, this figure's not too bad. It, it, it's, it's not the worst, it's not the best, but I am glad I picked it up and added it to my collection. It's, like I said, it's not bad. Yeah, it's an unnecessary yet okay addition to a retro collection, especially if you're a fan of Triple H. Anyways, that's all I have to say. Th thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. As always, check out the description box below the video for links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Be sure to follow me on social media, and you can chat with me anytime you want. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.